Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the Smartsheet Control Center and what to expect from a user perspective when applied by Program Management Office. Note, this video assumes you have a good level of project and program management capability and processes established in your business with defined templates and that you're now looking to scale up. I won't go into any of these tools and templates, but we'll be very happy to advise on these separately. So, what is Smartsheet Control Center? Well, it's an interface that allows you to automate the process for creating new projects with a consistent set of templates and structure that are all named appropriately and automatically interconnected to a project and portfolio reporting level that goes straight to your dashboards and reports. It then also enables you to make global updates to projects once they're started, rather than having to edit each individual item as you go through and having to make all those changes one by one. It also enables you to archive projects automatically when they're closed. So while you can still manage a PMO effectively in Smartsheet without Control Center, as the number of your projects increase, then so does the risk of human error, personnel availability to create them and the admin overhead and it all starts to mount up. But all of this is addressed by Control Center. So in this case, I've got my portfolio dashboard and you can see that a series of projects are mounting up below and then they're all connected in. So as a new project is approved to go forward, we want to make it appear on this dashboard as seamlessly as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in to the control center and show you exactly how easy that is. So in this case, I'm going to go and create a project. If I just look at the intake sheet before we do, we can see there's a series of projects, which these ones are showing as having been created with a tick, and these ones are approved yet not cr created. So let's look at cough stop. That is an R&D project. And so that will be available as we'll fix up to be able to do. So going into Control Center, I'm going to click on Create a Project, and it shows me the various templates for the different project types I've got. In this case, because it is a major project, I'm going to click on that blueprint and it will open it up. So just to explain before I go further, what is a blueprint? Each one of these, you have a choice of the various templates and the structure that you want to appear when you create that project. So for a simple project, you'll have a, a lot less items, a simpler time plan, etc. Whereas for major projects, you will have greater rigor. And for property, for example, a different type for an IT project, Again, different types of time plan and assets that you would use accordingly. So this way, you can automatically ensure that when a project starts, everyone starts off with the same basis and builds out from there, and it's connected to the right portfolio, etc. So in this case, I've already selected major projects. I'm going to click Next. You can see before I go forwards, it shows you the various assets that are included here. So as I go forwards, I have the option to see well, which are the required templates for this format and optional ones. So I can either say to select them or not. So I'm going to leave them with the default selection and I click next. And then I've got the option here a set up to select. So I'm going to go R&D and which project we're we going to go for? Cough stop, fix up penny. So cough, cough stop was the one I said we'd go for. It's already started to pull the information through that you would have seen on the intake sheet. And if I click next, I then have the opportunity to just give more access rights to a variety of people here. It by default puts in information for the key people who are the, um, who've got edit and viewing access. And if I press create project, it now starts doing that process. So whilst that's happening in the background, if I just show you again, the project intake sheet. So this has got the various information which comes in at the beginning. This can easily be collected using an intake sheet, a form. So you can see various submissions have come into this form already. If we open the form, you can see that this is the opportunity for someone to submit the project, description, various information here. And when that is submitted, as per any Smartsheet form, that will then go back to the sheet here. And there's the opportunity from the PMO perspective to make sure it's approved. And once it's approved and marked off as approved, it is ready to be set up. So control center in the background is still just working through, just takes a bit of time to, to set up on that side. 
And when it is set up, what it will do is it will then be added to the structure of the project. So if we just go back here, so cough stop will appear in this list here momentarily when I refresh it, and it will be added to the summary sheet here where we've got all the various information that feeds up to the portfolio dashboard. So going back here, you can see it's now done. I'm going to click that to launch it and we go straight in and it launches the project cough stop and it's got the approved budget in this case and it's got the top line description but no other information is set up about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and just to give a quick demonstration I'm going to change the rag status on this to be red. I'm going to say it's updated today so I'm going to put T enter and project stage I'm just going to link and say it is in the design stage here for example and it's red because it was started two weeks late for example so if I now save this information if I go back to the dashboard you can see that information has already come through started two weeks late it's already come through onto the, the dashboard here and if I go to the portfolio summary hopefully this should also then immediately appear and you can see cough stop is already here on the portfolio dashboard so without any manual intervention or renaming it is already coming through onto the portfolio dashboard you can see the massive time saving that's created there if I go back here in terms of the projects and into this list here if you go down the side you can see cough stop is now created and the various assets that are required for this one are all there and it's been set up and it'll be shared with the various people who need access to it in terms of the sheet and so everyone can then get on and focus on delivering the project and not the administration created in setting it up so that's one of the key things which is so fabulous about control center on that side if we just go back to control center for a moment as well so if i go back in to this one and go back to the view so you can see the list of projects which have been created as i've already shown you the blueprints that would happen if i click to manage program and you can see the various project types i've got here for different different ones what i'm also going to do now is just show you the automations so i'm now going to set it up so that it starts automatically creating the major projects so i'm going to turn that on and hopefully during this process one of these will, will be created but now what it means is if for example you have a series of projects that you don't need to go in and manually kick off actually once they are marked as approved you want you don't want to be pressing any buttons then you can get it to run automatically for you as well so that's now running in the background you've also within control center got what's called global updates and this is where you've got the opportunity to make changes to any of your templates and push these changes out to existing projects which are already there so let's just say you've already got 20 projects which are launched and you need to add a new column in or stakeholders ask for further information then you can make changes or you can find and replace key information within these cells where a word has changed for example brand name changes etc etc so Various information can be changed and you, you've got a series of options of things you can change on that side. So I'm just coming back out and then for archiving as well. So when you've got a project, um, you can, for example, set up the archiving process and to, to get it to work to certain rules in terms of when a project's cancelled or closed. And you can set up your rulings of how it's set up and then you press the button to perform archiving. So again, this will run, it will take the project out, move it to where you need it to be and ensure that your live project feed still continues to be included. And then you can have your closed projects. That information won't be updated anymore, but can still be included in how you've set up your mapping for the information as well. So if we go back to here in terms of the overall projects, let's just see if any more projects have been created in the meantime. So again, let's just have a look in terms of the project intake sheet. But what I do know is if I just refresh on this one, 
So it is in the process of creating more projects. So cough stop has been created and it will now be working. And I presume that fix up will probably be the next project which will be created in the meantime by the automatic process. So for the purpose of this video, we won't hang on to see that that is completed. I'll uh, just refresh it once, just in case it has now done. Um, it's not yet come through, but that is an overview of Smartsheet Control Center. And I trust that has been useful to give you a view of what to expect from a user perspective when coming in and how simple it is in terms of setting up and creating projects in terms of either by manually doing it or setting up the automation, which, and one last look to see if that has happened. And I'm just going to go back to off top projects. Has it been created? Let's just have a quick look at the summary sheet and the projects. So I don't think it has been created as yet. It would be fabulous if it had, but it hasn't. So guys, I'll leave it there. Let me just have a look, not yet created. So the automation process is working in the background and more projects will be being created on that side. Trust me, it works. And I trust this has also been useful to you. Thank you for watching. And I hope that's given you a strong insight into the control center solution from Smartsheet. Thank you.